Monsieur Quanti. Check, check, check. Check one, two.
Good evening, everyone. Shabbat shalom to all of you, and Chag Sameach, happy Pesach, happy Passover. It's great to have all of you here with us here at Ahavat Shalom. I'm Rabbi Matt Berger. We've got a full house here for those of you who are tuning in from at home. i got to remember the camera is right under the TV. Uh, full crowd here, and we're going to have a wonderful Seder. For those who are in person, you have excerpts in a booklet from a wonderful Haggadah where we'll tell the story of Passover called Sharing the Journey, which is written by Alan Yaffe. And for those watching at home, many thanks to Ed Marks, our temple president, who will be running the slideshow in the picture in picture. So let's begin our Seder with a song. So Ed, if you go to the first slide, which is Hag Sameach, and for those of you here in person, the pages aren't numbered, but uh, I'll let you know where we are. So we're singing Hag Sameach, and then Shiru Hag Sameach, Happy Holiday, and sing Happy Holiday. So please join me. Hag Sameach, Hag Sameach, Yai la la la, ya la la. Hag Sameach, Hag Sameach, Yai la la la, ya la la. Hag Sameach, Hag Sameach, Yai la la la, ya la la. Hag Sameach, Hag Sameach, Yai la la la, ya la la. Shiru. Shiru, 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 hag samea, yai la la la, ya la la. Shiru, 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 hag samea, yai la la la, ya la la. Shiru, 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 hag samea, yai la la la, ya la la. Shiru, 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 hag samea, yai la la la, ya la la. So right below that, and our next slide, there's a wonderful song that we can sing which talks about the order of the Seder, and there are 15 parts of the Seder. So I found this last year, the 15 emojis of Seder night. And uh, if you know the tune, maybe we'll even go through it twice. So if it's a new tune for some of you, you'll have an idea, and then you can join in the second time Around Kadei Shorchatz Karpas Yachatz Magid Rachsa Motzi Matza Maror Kore Shulchan Hore Safun Bare Halel Nirza from the top Kadei Shorchatz Karpas Yachatz Magid Rachsa Motsi matza, maror kore, shulchan ore, safun bare, halel nirza. So we start with the first blessing over the wine. And uh, if you'd like at this time, if you haven't done so, this would be a great time to fill up your first kiddush cup of wine or grape juice. We're blessing four times over the wine, followed by the washing of the hands, the leafy vegetables that we're going to eat dipped in salt water, the breaking of the middle matzah, one half of which will become the dessert or the afikoman that the kids will find, the telling of the story, this time a washing of the hands but with a blessing, blessing over the bread and then specifically the matzah, the guy who's shooting out the smoke from his mouth, that's hot horseradish. The korech, the shulchan arech, that's getting into the meal. The safun is finding. Once more, blessing after the meal. The halel, psalms of praise, and then nirzah. Guess this little kid's going to sleep, but hopefully you won't go to sleep uh, during the Seder. Uh, if you go on the next page where it says, beginning our Seder. So why do we celebrate Pesach? With grateful thanks, we welcome everyone 
to our Passover Seder. Tonight, we shall fulfill once again the Torah's instruction to remember the story of the Exodus from Egypt all the days of our lives, whether we have many Passover memories or are experiencing our first Seder tonight, we joyously tell the story of the Exodus as one community. We're going to sing Ellen Allard's version of Hine Matov, How Good It Is to Be Together. Hine Matov, Umanayim, Shevet Dakim, Gam Yachai. Hine Matov, Umanayim, Shevet Dakim, Gam Yachai. How good. How good it is to be together. How good it is to be together. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're going to light the festival candles, and you'll find that on the bluish color page. The lighting of candles in our social hall or in your home, if you're following along at home, symbolizing lighting the lamps of our people, spreading light, joy, and the knowledge of God's ways. We light and bless the festival candles tonight, marking the joy that Passover brings into our lives. Pleasure to invite the ladies of my house, Ida and Maytal Berger. They're going to light the blessing. And we're not going to do... Well, actually, we can do the Shabbat V'Shel Yom Tov because we're doing a version right after this of Havdalah, not the entire Havdalah service, but just the parts that we're going to do for the Seder. Just keep doing it. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddishanu B'Mitzvotav V'Tzivanu L'Hadlik Ner Shel Yom Tov Thank you so much. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddishanu B'Mitzvotav Vitzivanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Shel Shabbat Vashel Yom Toh And when you have Havdalah for your Seder in the evening, we actually use the festival candles that are already lit, but we'll sing the melody anyway, and then also you'll find at the bottom of the next page, it's the fully white page, which says lights at the top, our prayer acknowledging the separation between Shabbat and the beginning of a new week. Eliyahu Hanavi, we're going to sing later in the service. Ya la 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 Ya la 
lie, la 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 lie, lie, I lie, la 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 lie, lie. Ya la lie, 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 ya la lie, lie, ya la lie. Amavdid ben Kodesh, ben Kodesh l'chol, ha-totinu imho, zareinu v'kaspenu yarbe ha-chol, v'akol kavim ba-laila. For parents who are here, the blessing for the children. So, for sons, Yisim Cha Elohim Kefrayim Uchem Menashe. May God bless you with the strength and faithfulness of Ephraim and the wisdom of Menashe. And for daughters, Simach Elohim Kesara. May God bless you with the strength and vision of Sarah, the wisdom and foresight of Rebecca, the courage and compassion of Rachel, and with the gentleness and graciousness of Leah. And we'll continue with the priestly blessing. Yivarechecha Adonai V'yishmarecha Ya er Adonai panave lecha v'chuneka. Yisa Adonai panave lecha v'yasem lecha shalom, shalom. May God bless you and keep you all. May God's light always shine upon you. And may God grant each and every one of us shalom, a feeling of peace. All right, ready for the first cup of wine? Let me get mine. The Kiddush cup that holds the wine or the grape juice is the symbol of joy. The wine poured into the cup is our hope for life's sweetness. Together, poured to the brim, or at least close to that, the cup reminds us of the fullness of our days. We're going to drink four cups of wine throughout the Seder remembering each aspect of God freeing us from Egypt. So let's raise our cups and sing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei puri agafen l'chaim to life. All right, let's sing the Shekianu. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shekianu Vikimanu Vikigianu Vazman Hazeh Ah, ah, ah Blessed are you, God, for giving us life, for sustaining us and allowing us to reach this special moment. So there are going to be two washings of the hands. The first one I'll do. with our special two-handled cup called a natla, because the blessing, which we're not going to do now, but we're going to do a little bit later, is for the raising of the hands, nitila, which is the raising of. And what we're doing with the 
Ritual washing of the hands, obviously no soap and water, we're symbolically washing away the thoughts of our daily activities and any remnants of the slave mentality created by the many years of slavery our ancestors endured in Egypt. And then later on, right before the meal, we'll raise our hands once again with the blessing. And one of the things that we can also do uh, with water is reflect on the role of water in the Exodus story, in saving the life of Moses. Later on, we'll sing a song called Baby Moses, Saved from the Nile, Parting of the Red Sea, the miracle quenching our thirst and renewing our spirit through our journey in the desert. As this is the second Seder and the beginning of the second night of Pesach or Passover, it's customary to count the Omer, which was a sheaf of barley that was brought in by individuals and given to the priests, the biblical priests, as an offering uh, in the temple in Jerusalem and while the Jews were sojourning in Egypt to the portable sanctuary or the Mishkan. So there's a little bit of wheat background in that picture. Sfirata Omer. If you'd like to join me in the blessing. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kichanu b'mitzvotav itzivanu, al sfirat ta omer for the commandment to count the omer and then for this day hayom sheni amim la omer it's actually the first day of the omer i guess that didn't get in for the slides so hayom yom echad la omer today is the first day of the omer so let's take a look at our seder plates now and the various symbols that we have on there we always have at least one, but usually two green leafy vegetables. So we've got the karpas, which is usually parsley, the chazeret, which a lot of times is some kind of a bitter endive or a romaine lettuce. Uh, in place of a roasted shank bone, uh, A, because I'm vegetarian, um, and the Talmud says many, many hundreds of years ago that you can use a beet in replacement of a shank bone, but also many people are using a roasted beet on their state of plates this year, especially in solidarity with Ukraine and the soup that everyone loves there, which is borscht, which of course is made among other things with a beet. We have the beitza or the egg representing the cycle of life. The greenery of course represents spring and the rebirth. Uh, and we've got the haroset mixture of apples and wine or grape juice and perhaps nuts. The maror, so this is the real stuff. The white, not cut down with the, the beet, which then makes it red horseradish. And then I actually have an orange in the middle of the Seder plate. The orange got its start uh, from a professor named Susanna Heschel, who is the daughter of the late Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, who uh, was really a giant in 20th century uh, Judaism, was uh, very well connected with the civil rights movement, and he was a master theologian um, and teacher in his own right. I uh, taught for a bit at Hebrew Union College, and then made his way to Jewish Theological Seminary to the conservative uh, ceremony. And uh, once on a kind of in a symposium type of situation, um, Susanna Heschel was wanting to, and this is decades ago, wanted to be more inclusive of the LGBTQ community and someone in the audience, or it was a panelist, said, you know, well, that's, you know, totally not in bounds, and it's the equivalent of having an orange on your Seder plate. So she liked that answer, or at least didn't like that answer enough to make it a point to put an orange, and now, you know, many people put oranges on there just for inclusion, LGBTQ in general, but inclusion 
um, for everybody who might feel marginalized or left out, the orange helps create a sense of welcome for us all. We're already ready to start eating, so we can take a little bit of the carpas or the green vegetable, the parsley, so hopefully you have that on your Seder plates, and we get ready to dip not once but twice. And the blessing, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Puriya Adama. We bless you, God, creator of the fruit of the earth. And the salt water reminds us of the bitterness of slavery. So go ahead, enjoy. It's just as good as I remember from last night. How about you? So I've already talked a little bit about the bait saw or the roasted egg, reminding us of spring, the renewal and the cycle of life, that it doesn't have a beginning or an end because it's a sphere, and the various seasons of the year. All right, we're going to talk about matzah, our bread of affliction. So, we have on our plate, everyone should have a minimum of three slices of matzah, which, just like bread, uses flour and water, but in this case, no yeast, because back in the day when the Israelites were running from Egypt towards freedom, no time to let that bread Rise. As it says in Exodus, they baked unleavened cakes of the dough they'd taken out of Egypt. Um, so we have three of these, and then we take out the middle one. And don't eat it. I'm going to break this one more time. I'm going to put this in the Afi Komen bag. Yep, the Avi Komen bag. And I believe Avi and Gimme are going to hide this so that later on in the service, so find Gimme, Avi, and then I'll let you know the general vicinity. I'm not just going to let you, the kids, run around the entire temple because that would take a really long time. Um, but after we're done with the main part of the Seder meal, then we're going to have the Afi Komen hunt, and there are prizes as well. So, we've broken that middle piece of matzah, and then let's sing together another classic, Ha Lachma Anya. Ha Lachma Anya. This is the bread of affliction. All who are hungry, come and eat. Ha lachma, ha lachma an ya di achalu, di achalu ahavtana, be ara, be ara, di mitrayim, be ara, be ara, di mitrayim, kol defin ye te ve ye kol, kol de strik ye te ve sa, ha shata, ha ha, le shana ha ba ha, be har. Yisrael hashata avde l'shana haba b'nei So next year, now that we're free, it's a hope that we will celebrate Passover in Jerusalem. All right, now I'm going to take the microphone, and Lori Bauk is going to read the reading that's on page 27 and 28. Thank you. Chag Sameach, everyone. A symbol of hope and the responsibilities of freedom. To our plate that held three pieces of matzah, we now return the second half of the middle matzah. For the oppressed, 
it is a symbol of hope. For free persons, it is a symbol of the responsibilities of freedom. The story of the Exodus has brought hope to many peoples as they face their own struggle for freedom. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who lived from 1929 to 1968, in his speeches, rallies, and marches of the American Civil Rights Movement, explicitly invoked the story of the Exodus. The Exodus is something of the story of every people struggling for freedom. It is the first story of man's explicit quest for freedom, and it demonstrates the stages that seem to inevitably follow the quest for freedom. This is the power of the story of the Exodus. It is both a historical story and a contemporary symbol of hope. So I'll say Yashar Koach to Lori. Thank you so much for leading that reading. And guess what time it is, especially for the kids and the young at heart here. It's time for the four questions or the Ma Nishana. And for those who are adults, I'm sure that you can remember when you were a kid and you were finally old enough to get asked to begin singing the four questions. Um, there are a number of ways to, uh, to sing this, um, and we are going to first ask the four questions, and then through the Magid, answer the questions through the story of Passover. So all of these questions really ask why is this night different from all other nights? Why is it special? And why do the things that we do, which are unique on this night, um, what's the meaning behind it? And the Seder in and of itself is meant to get our creativity going, our imaginations going, and then if we have questions about what's going on, that they can be answered by brothers or sisters or parents or grandparents or friends. So for the kids in the room, but everyone else can join in, the Manishana. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Manishana ha lai la ze mi kol ha le lot mi kol ha le lot shebe kol ha le lot Anu ochlin ha mei tu matza, ha mei tu matza, ha lai la ze, ha lai la ze, kulo matza, ha lai la ze, ha lai la ze, kulo matza, shebechol halelot. Anu ochlin she ar ye rakot she ar ye rakot ha lai la ze ha lai la ze maror maror ha lai la ze ha lai la ze maror maror Shebechol ha le lotein anu matilin a filu pa a mechat a filu pa a mechat ha lai la ze ha lai la ze shete fe ha mim ha lai la ze ha lai la ze shete fe ha mim shebechol ha le lot Anu ochlin, ben yoshvinu, vein misubin, ben yoshvinu, vein misubin. Ha lai la ze, ha lai la ze, kulanu misubin. Ha lai la ze, ha lai la ze, kulanu misubin. So the question about matzah and about the special herbs that we eat, and then dipping them twice, and finally reclining during the Seder like free people. And now I'm going to bring the mic over to Mike Skalka. <laughs> the mic is going to Mike. Uh, 
Zitzim uh, Pesach to everyone. We celebrate tonight because we were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt, and God delivered us from bondage to freedom. Had our ancestors not been redeemed from Egyptian slavery, we, our children, and our children's children would have remained slaves. Even if all of us were wise and educated by our study of Torah, it would still be our responsibility each year to tell the story of our deliverance from Egypt. To dwell at length on the remembrance of our exodus from Egypt on Passover is considered praiseworthy. Thank you so much. What are you doing? Are you going to get back? Yeah, you'll get it back. All right, let's say Yasha Koak to Mike. Thank you. And now it's time to sing Once We Were Slaves and Now We Are Free, the reply to the four questions. So feel free to join me if you know this one. Avadim hayinu hayinu ata benekorin benekorin Avadim hayinu ata ta benekorin benekorin Avadim hayinu ata ta benekorin benekorin once we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt, and God freed us with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Now I'm going to bring the mic over to Lillian Epstein, with many thanks for her following reading. Hi, everybody. Why on this night do we eat only matzah? Matzah symbolizes both slavery and freedom. Matzah is our bread of affliction. It is a symbol of our rush to freedom, the food we ate when liberated from Egypt, bo Egyptian bondage. When our ancestors rushed to leave Egypt, they did not have time to wait for their bread to leaven. During Passover, we eat matzah to remind us of our enslavement in Egypt and of the divine help we received during the Exodus. Let's all say Yasha Koak to Lillian. Thank you so much. Let's talk about those bitter herbs. Bitter herbs, or maror, represent the bitterness of slavery, and we eat them later on in our Seder ceremony that will never forget the bitter taste of oppression. And for the dipping twice, Karpas is the symbol of renewed hope. That's, again, the parsley sprig and the promise of spring. We dip Karpas in salt water to remind us that our ancestors viewed the hope of renewal through the tears of slavery. And later we're going to combine the maror and the Karpas, the horseradish and the green vegetable to create the Hillel sandwich, which is one of my favorite parts. And reclining, that's the uh, fourth question. So many people will either recline or tilt a little bit to the left or the right, because that's what free people do. Some people have little cushions uh, or a pillow that also symbolize freedoms. Historically, slaves sat on hard benches of the floor, not very comfortable when they ate, and forced to rush through the meal and then go back to work. For our ancestors, reclining on pillows or couches, eating at leisure, and engaging in conversation were symbols of freedom. And our reclining, or the pillows, symbolize our ability to recline as free persons, declaring to the world that we will not be enslaved. Now we're going to talk about the four children. Some really nice artwork uh, throughout this Passover Haggadah. So we'll continue with the four children. So 
according to tradition, there are four types of sons or daughters or kids in Israel. The Chacham, this is the wise one. The Rasha, which is the wicked one. Some people say the evil one. The Tom, the simple one. The patriarch Jacob was said to be Ish Tom. He was uh, a simple or pure one. And the one who is unable to ask and doesn't even know what questions to ask. And that one is called She'eno Yodea Lish Ol. And when we answer the questions, or all the kids, begin to fulfill the responsibility of passing on to a new generation the story of God's deliverance and mercy and might and hope for our children. So, the wise one. Let's read that one together. The wise one asks, what are the rulings, the laws, and the traditions that God has commanded to us? The wicked ones on the very next page at the top. The wicked one requires, what is this service to you? The simple one asks, what is this? And on the next page, for the sons and daughters who are unable to inquire or do not know what questions to ask, we begin, you shall explain to your child on that day, it is because of what God did for me when I went free from Egypt. The one who is wise, wicked, simple, and the one who doesn't know enough questions to ask, they reside as archetypes in each of us. And by fulfilling the obligations of the Seder, we learn more about ourselves and each other and make this Passover story our own. The Passover story of deliverance and redemption that we now recount has provided a shared sense of experience to the Jewish people for 3,000 years. Retold each year at our Seder, the biblical story continues to sustain and enrich our collective spirit. Now, this is usually the time in a Passover Seder where you have page after page after page of the English part of the telling. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to tell the story, but really in song. Uh, so the first one that we're going to sing uh, is written by Ellen Aller. It's called No, 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 No. It's a lot of no's. So here we go. Pharaoh. Pharaoh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pharaoh? Pharaoh, you gotta let my people go. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pharaoh? Pharaoh, no, 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 no. No more working in the hot sun, no more slavery. No more working in the hot sun, no, 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 no. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pharaoh? Pharaoh, no, 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 no. No more heavy, heavy burdens, no more slavery. No more heavy, heavy burden. No, 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 no. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Pharaoh, Pharaoh, you gotta let my people go. No more screaming and yelling. No more slavery. No more screaming and yelling. No, 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 no. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what are you doing? What are you do? Pharaoh, Pharaoh, you gotta let my people go. Last verse. No more hungry bellies. No more slavery. No more hungry bellies. No, 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 no. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pharaoh? 
Pharaoh, yeah, I let my people go. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pharaoh? Pharaoh, no, 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 no. And there you go. No, 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 no. And we had one great dancer. That was awesome. All right. Now we're going to learn about how Moses was saved because this was the time that the firstborn Israelite kids were put to death by Egypt, and it was very, very, very bad. So Moses' mom wanted to hide Moses and send him away, and then hopefully someone along the Nile would pick him up, perhaps even the Pharaoh's daughter. And that's exactly what happened. So we'll sing Baby Moses in a Basket. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Your heaven gives birth to a strong baby boy and hides him to thrive. Soon she has a plan to put him in the river Nile, the only way he'll stay alive. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Miriam, his sister, loved her baby brother dear. She helps her mother with his care. And when the boy is placed in the basket in the reeds, she hides herself till he's found there. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Pharaoh's daughter finds the basket floating in the Nile. She knows it is a Hebrew boy. Miriam brings her mother in to suckle the child. Now your heaven holds her pride and joy. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Moses grew to lead his people to the promised land. God had chosen him to set them free. Without the love and courage of the women of the Nile, would have changed the course of history. Baby Moses in a basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. Baby Moses in the basket, in the basket on the river. Baby Moses in the basket on the river Nile. All right, and away we go. Now that we've done those couple songs. We're going to talk about the ten plagues. So we're going to join together to recite each of the ten plagues by removing just a drop of wine or grape juice from our cup. So here's the deal, folks. You don't want to lick your finger after doing these 10 dips. That's kind of like ingesting the plagues. So uh, usually what uh, I do is, you know, just take a dip and we'll sing it and then just like tap it to the plate, you know, something like that, and then just use a napkin at the end. All right, you ready to go? Dom. Sephardea, Kinim, Arov, Dever, Shechin, Barad, Arbe, 
Oh boy, they are harsh. Blood frogs, lice, wild beasts, blight, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and slaying of the firstborn. Oof. After crossing the Red Sea, our ancestors celebrated with song, praising the power of God. And tonight we recite part of this song of the sea, giving thanks once again to God for freedom and commemorating the splitting of the Red Sea. So we're going to sing, Mi Kamoka, but we're going to sing it too. Ah, dear who, and right at the end of the Seder, that's what we're going to be singing as well, which uh, translates to God of Might. Mi ka mo ka, li madonai. Mi ka mo ka, ne dar ba kodesh. No rot he load, oh save me. Me come, oh ha, by the Madonai. Me come, oh ha, ne dar bakodesh. No rot he load. Oh, save Now we're going to talk about Miriam's cup and the roll of water. So here we go right on the table. We have Miriam's cup with a little bit of timbrel action and a nice desert landscape with palm trees. So the rabbis, or Jewish tradition, said that God honored Miriam's bravery and devotion to the Jewish people by giving her this miraculous well that was filled with water, which would appear every time the Israelites needed water throughout their journey in the desert. And this source of water, which is called Miriam's Well, it quenched people's thirst and renewed the spirit of our ancestors as they overcame the hardships of the Exodus. And that's why many Seder tables throughout the world will have a Kos Miriam, and you just fill it with water. And uh, we can take a sip of water, so if you have water, just as a reminder of that, and in gratitude to Miriam and the women, who alongside Moses and herself was a prophet, was also a guardian of our people. Now we're going to sing Dayenu, which kind of like a Yiddish word, almost like genug, like enough, but not in a bad way, <laughs> like enough, like stop doing this, but this is Dianu, like it would have been enough if God had just brought us out of Egypt, or if God had given us Shabbat, or if God had given us Torah, all these things would have been enough, but still we're blessed with more and more things, and in honor of that we sing Dianu, which on this is uh, page 46, and then you flip the page for the other verses. Ilu hotzi hotzi anu hotzi anu mi mitzrayim hotzi anu mi mitzrayim dayenu da 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 enu da da enu da da enu da enu da enu da enu da da enu Die, die, a new, die, die, a new, die, a new, die, a new. Ilu natan natan lanu, natan lanu, et a shabbat, natan lanu, et a shabbat, die. 
da 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 Ilu natan natan lanu natan lanu etatora natan lanu etatora die da 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 inu da da inu da da inu da inu da inu da inu da da inu da da inu da da inu da inu da inu well sung. Very, very nice. So, at every Seder, you need to talk about what's on the Seder plate and three of the most important symbols on the Seder plate. And the first question is, what is the meaning of Pesach? or in this case, the Pesach, or in this case, meaning not on my Seder plate, but on all of your Seder plates, the Pesach. That's the shank bone that reminds us that God passed over the Israelite houses and spared us on the watch night. And Pharaoh, and I know, they really was. There was one on my plate It was very skinny, you know. I've seen ones that are like, you know, big, like you're going to a Renaissance fair, like that thick, you know. Um, but th that was a little one. It was a, maybe it was a tiny, you know, tiny little thing. Uh, when Pharaoh refused to release the Israelites, us, from slavery, God afflicted the people of Egypt with the tenth plague, the slaying of the firstborn. And the doorposts of our houses were marked with lamb's blood so that God would pass over, really, the angel of death, would pass over all of the homes, and the Israelite lives would be spared. So, customary to just point to the shank bone. Now, the matzah. So, if someone could just lift the matzah, just to showcase us. So, yep, thank you very much. The matzah we know is this unleavened bread, tasty, 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 the lechem on ye, the bread of affliction. And God has saved us from all sorts of distress in our lives. So may God always inspire us with courage to remove every trace of bondage among all peoples. So even though we are free, we know that many Jews, especially in Ukraine and the surrounding countries, are either having tremendous difficulty celebrating Passover, if they're even able to have a Seder at all. So we think of them. And if someone would lift the maror or the horseradish, reminding us of the oppression of Israelite slavery, and as God has always blessed us with freedom, may God always inspire us to be messengers of God's word to those in need of hope. And here we are, our second cup of wine. So get your Kiddush cup out. And we remember that God delivered us from bondage and drink the second cup to celebrate the survival of the Jewish people. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei puri agafen l'chaim To life. We are going to be eating very, very soon. So, if you recall, we began the Seder with three pieces of matzah. We still have those three pieces of matzah, but one of them the middle one is broken in half, and that'll be hidden for the afikoman. But before we continue with the eating, this is the washing of the hands with the raising of the hands and the blessing. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech olam asher kishanu v'mitzvot tavit sivanu al nitilat yadayim. And many Jewish people, before they eat every single meal, and especially the Shabbat or Sabbath or festival meal will wash their hands and recite 
that special blessing. And now it is time for the blessing of the matzah. So take out the matzah, get a little piece for yourself. It is time. Here we go. And the first one looks just like the mozi because it is. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam HaMotzi Lechem Min We bless you, God, who brings forth bread from the earth. Let's have some plain matzah. Mmm. All right. And for the matzah itself, Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedishanu B'Mitzvotav Itzivanu Al Achilat Matzah For the commandment to eat of the unleavened bread. And then this is the time where we get out our maror, our spicy horseradish. And we recite this blessing over the bitter herbs. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushan B'Mitzvotav V'tzivanu Al Achilat Maror. So we can take a little bit of the matzah and put some crane on it, some horseradish. It is good horseradish. And now it's time for the Hillel sandwich. So this is where you take a little bit of your maror, your horseradish, or crane. Then take a little bit of your haroset mixture and then eat the Hillel sandwich. And as soon as we eat this, the meal is served and we have made it to the meal. Bateavon. All right, time for the meal. For those watching at home, we're going to keep the uh, tapes rolling, so to speak, and I'll let you know when we're coming back for the rest of the Seder.
Okay, for all the kids here, this is the time to search for the Afikomen dessert. So whoever would like to look for the Afikomen dessert, come and follow me, and I'll tell you that it's going to be in this general area, which is not in this room. Follow me over here. We got a whole bunch of Afi Comans that we've hidden away. They have found the Afikomen.
The afikomen has been found in the dessert. You can have a little bit of that. Feel free to keep eating. And we are going to continue, because the Seder does continue after the uh, entree. And uh, if you, let's see, it's about three quarters of the way through. And the bottom page that you're looking for is 62. 62. And we're going to start right on the slide above that, which is the blessing after the meal or the Birkat Hamazon. And now we're here thanking God for the meal. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Azan et Aholam Kulo Betuvo Bechen Bechesed Uvrachamim who noctain lechem lecho basar ki le olam hasto? Uv tu vo hagadol tamid lo yasala nu ve yasala nu mahazon le olam va ed ba vorshim o hagadol ki huazan um farnes lacho. Who may tiv la hol, who may heen mazom le hol briotav, ash er barra, barrochata adonai, hazan et ha cold. And while we're on the subject of thank yous, let's say thank you to Lynn's Catering. <laughs> Wonderful. And all of the staff. Many thanks to Alex Perez and Gimme as well, and, and Kara Herman our wonderful administrative assistant for helping to put all of this together. It definitely takes a team of folks. And wouldn't you know it, we're on our third cup of wine. We're remembering the outstretched arm of God and the great acts of judgment. We celebrate the bonds between family and friends and our connection to all people throughout the world. May the goodwill in each of us draw us closer to each other, strengthening the ties between us so that we can help each other through hard times as well as celebrate good times together. So we'll raise the Kiddush cup for our third blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam borei poriah for the fruit of the vine, l'chaim, to life. All right, I'm going to pop open one of these doors for Elijah here. All right, I'm going to use this music stand here. That'll work. There we go. And Elijah, the prophet's cup is right here. I don't know if it's gone down. You never know. So Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu was the prophet in Israel. And when does Elijah come? Well, we sing about him every Saturday evening during the Havdalah service as we mark the separation between the end of Shabbat and the beginning of the new week. And he comes in answer to our prayer again and again throughout history, Jews have lived in exile and in tyranny when might has conquered right. Part of the Passover Seder is the Hallel. If you remember from that 15-part song at the beginning, Hallel is, means we're pretty close toward the end, and we give thanks as a community for the teachings of our story in Passover, which you shall remember all the days of our lives, and for the symbols of Passover that we learned about that inspire us to work for freedom for all. And as a community, we give thanks to God for our deliverance from bondage in Egypt and from those who have sought to destroy us in every age. And for the reminder that in this world, God's work to create the Messianic age must truly be our own, meaning we're partners with God in doing this. We also give thanks for the love of family and for the gift of extended family and friends and neighbors and for the experience of this Passover Seder, which brings us closer to God, to our families, and to one another. And I've included one of the Psalms 
that is customarily read or sang. Praise God who is good. Ho du lado nai ki to ki le olam kasto yo mar na Yisrael ki le olam kasto yo mru na vetaron ki le olam kasto yo mru na yeretaronai ki le olam kasto. God's love is eternal. And the fourth cup of wine. Now the promise that we're remembering is, I will take you to be my people, and I will be your God. Text from Exodus chapter 6. And we're dedicating this cup to shalom, to peace. May the one who broke Pharaoh's yoke, not the egg yoke, forever shatter all letters, all fetters of oppression and hasten the day when swords shall at last be turned into plowshares, as Isaiah says, and spears into pruning hook. And a blessing for the state of Israel. You can feel free to join me. May the state of Israel, all peoples in the Middle East, peoples of every religion, race, and creed throughout the world, soon experience the blessings of peace. May God be gracious to us and dispel the darkness of ignorance and prejudice from all peoples. May our country be a beacon of liberty and justice for all peoples. May we all be blessed with peace and freedom and be kept safe from danger. And we'll lift our cups for our fourth blessing over the fruit of the vine. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Puri Agafem You say L'chaim to life. Tonight, we've given thanks to God by saying a blessing over each of the four cups of wine as we celebrated the sanctity of every life, survival of the Jewish people, the holiness of our bond to every family member, and the meaning of shalom, peace. May this Seder provide us with new spirit and energy in the year ahead as we strive to meet the challenges of life's sweetness. May all peoples soon know freedom, and peace. And we'll sing Lishana Haba Be Rushalaim next year in Jerusalem. Lishana Baa Be Rushalaim Lishana Baha Be Rushalaim Lishana Baa Be Rushalaim Lishana Baa Be Rushalaim. And let's sing Hatikva together. It's customary if you're able to stand up. And if you're facing the closest Israeli flag is faced toward the sanctuary, and whenever in the United States you're looking at a bima or an ark, the U.S. flag should be on your left and the Israeli flag should be on your right. So let's sing Hatikva, so long as within the inmost heart a Jewish spirit sings, so long as the eye looks eastward towards Zion. Our hope is not yet lost, the hope of 2,000 years to be a free people in our land in Zion and Jerusalem. I in the Zion homia, O lo of da tikva tenu, a tikva shnota pain, liota poshi be artenu, eret Zion Yerushalayim. The Otam Koshi, the Hearts in you, Eretzion, Yerushalayim. Feel free to be seated, and thanks for singing along. All right, so now, Echad Mi Yodea, that's a whole bunch of Hebrew, means who knows one. 
This one I learned at one of my wife Ida's seders. It's an English language. It's, you know, take a drink of water before this because there's a lot of words in this. And it's a, it's a zipper song, meaning you're just continually adding new uh, numbers because it goes from one all the way through 13, the 13 attributes of God. And it repeats enough that even if you've never heard this version, I guarantee you, by like five or six or seven, you're going to be able to remember it for the rest of your life. It's just the way that this one works. Who knows one? I know one. One is our God. One is our God. One is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows two? I know two. Two are the tablets that Moshe brought in. One is our God. One is our God. One is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows three? I know three. Three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows four? I know four. Four are the mamas, and three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, an earworm. Who knows five? Five. Five are the books of the Torah, four are the mamas, and three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows six? I know six. Six are the books of the Mishnah, five are the books of the Torah, four are the mamas, and three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows seven? I know seven. Seven of the days of the week. Six of the books of the Mishnah. Five of the books of the Torah. Four of the mamas and three of the papas and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. One is our God. One is our God. One is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows eight? I know eight. Eight of the days of the circumcision. Seven of the days of the week. Six of the books of the Mishnah. Five of the books of the Torah. Four are the mamas and three are the papas and two are the tablets that Moshe brought in. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heavens and the earth. Who knows nine? I know nine. Nine are the months of the baby's birth. Eight are the days of the circumcision. Seven are the days of the week. Six are the books of the Mishnah. Five are the books of the Torah. Four are the mamas and three are the papas and two are the tablets that Moshe brought in. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows ten? I know ten. Wait for it. Ten of the holy commandments. Nine of the months of the baby's birth. Eight of the days of the circumcision. Seven of the days of the week. Six of the books of the Mishnah. Five of the books of the Torah. Four of the mamas and three of the papas and two of the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is our God. One is our God. One is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows 11? I know 11. 11 of the stars in Joseph's dream. 10 of the holy commandments. 9 of the months of the baby's birth. 8 of the days of the circumcision. 7 of the days of the week. 6 of the books of the Mishnah. 5 of the books of the Torah. 4 of the mamas and 3 of the pampas and 2 of the tablets that Moshe brought. 1 is their God. 1 is their God. 1 is their God. Heavens in the earth. Ooh. Ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows 12? I know 12. 12 of the tribes of Yisrael. 11 of the stores in Joseph's dream. 10 of the holy commandments. 9 of the months of the baby's birth. 8 of the days of the circumcision. 7 of the days of the week. 6 of the books of the Mishnah. 5 of the books of the Torah. 4 of the mamas and 3 of the papas and 2 of the tablets that Moshe brought. 1 is our God. 1 is our God. 1 is our God. In the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh. Last one. Who knows 13? I know 13. 13 are the attributes of God. 12 is the tribe of Yisrael. 11 are the stars in Joseph's dream. 10 are the holy commandments. 9 are the months of the baby's birth. 8 are the days of the circumcision. 7 are the days of the week. 6 are the books of the... 5 are the books of the Torah. 4 are the mamas and 3 are the pampas and 2 are the tablets that Moshe brought. And 1 is our God. 1 is our God. 1 is our God in the heavens and the earth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. You will never forget that. Try as you might, it is an earworm. You'd be like, ah. It'd be like one in the morning. It's like, he told me it was not going to go out of my ear. And he's right. <laughs> All right, now we're at Artie Ear Who. So we've sang the tune already with Mika Mocha, our song of freedom. 
And now we're going to sing it with the words Hebrew on the right and the transliteration on the left. Adir hu, adir hu, ivne veto bekarov, bim heira, bim heira, beame nu bekarov, el bene, el bene, bene veto bekarov. And in English, God of my, God of right, we would bow before you, sing your praise in these days. We celebrate your glory when we hear year by year freedom's wondrous story. And our last song for the day, and then we're going to have dessert. Look at that. It's already set out before us is Go Down Moses, originally a spiritual. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. Go down Moses, way down in Egypt's land. Tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. Thus said the Lord, both Moses said, let my people go. If not, I'll smite your firstborn dead. Let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt's land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. I hope you enjoyed our community Seder. There's some awesome dessert right there on the table. And thank you so much for being here and participating and singing along and reading along with us. It was really a pleasure and a blessing to have you all with us. And many thanks to Ed for running the slides throughout the Seder. A Zisen Pesach for all of you. A happy, a healthy, and a sweet Pesach next year in Jerusalem.